to let my head out tonight. You'll be too busy, won't you? Hmm. Let's stop me having a good time. Are you nervous? A little bit. Maybe I'll be excited. So you should be. It'll be a great success. Well, we'll just drop these off and go into hot. Yeah. Pop them in the boot. When I want to ask me not to come. We'll be back in an hour. Licence hearings are a formality. I should know. I've been to a few. You'll be joint landlady by lunchtime. Wait till Trisha finds out. Oh, I'm really chuffed for you, Louise. She won't mean a word of it. <laughs> you can handle her. Of course I can. We've got a lot to look forward to, haven't we? Yeah, we do. I was terrified when I thought I'd lost you. You don't get rid of me that easily. You thought about what you're going to wear tonight? I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Hooray! I've got to go into Leeds. It's business. OK. I'll see what I can do. OK. You haven't seen the Bingley file, have you? I can't find it in the office. It's amazing how things move on in just a few months. Sorry? Well, there's a piece about a new surgical procedure in this veterinary journal. It's fascinating. You're not thinking about going back to work, are you? I just want to know what's happening, that's all. I don't think you're anywhere near ready. I'm getting there. Where are you going? Places to go, people to see. And the file? It's on the desk. Well, you're coming, aren't you? I might. If you're lucky, you might get a glass of lemonade. You what? Oh, that's all we had to drink at his last party. If you must know, I've got a load of booze sorted. How? Huh? Well, that's my business. You coming, Katie? No, she'd rather stay at home and have it off with Andy. Get lost, Robert. Hey, I'm not knocking it. Yeah, you're not getting it either. <laughs> you're all talk, you are. No, I'm not. And I can prove it. How? Well. We'll come to the party and you'll find out. Oh, yeah? If you think you can handle me. Oh, I think oh. I'm going to throw up. Oh! Oh, I'm jiggered, me. I can't do no more. Have a respect. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> I'll take over if you like, Mrs Eggleton. Oh, eight. Well, you go steady now, cos we don't want you bursting them stitches. I'll be careful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> May I have your attention, please, everyone? Thanks. Um, you are now looking at the new joint landlady of the Woolpack. Oh. Afternoon today. Oh. Oh, congratulations, Beth. Oh, thanks. I'm so thrilled, I can't tell you. <laughs> we'll make a great team. I'm delighted. <laughs> oh, well done, love. I think it's wonderful you've gone from being a barmaid to a landlady. Just like your Bernice, that's right, isn't it, Mrs Blackstock? It is. Now, I would suggest champagne, but as you can see, we're a bit thronged. Yeah, well, it's looking good. I thought I'd put these up, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Why not? It's great. Oh. What's this, a group of urchins in the workhouse? I'll have you know there's some of Teesside's finest there, yours truly included. There I am. Mm, not improved much with age. <laughs> at least the camera was invented when I was at school. <laughs> well, I hope this goes well. This time yesterday, you couldn't have cared less? Well, I'm just so relieved about Ray. He never really did intend on leaving me, but um, I did hurt his pride. Oh. Hello, Eric. I thought I might find you in here. Uh, I'm, I'm meeting Gloria. She, 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 she'll be here in a minute. <laughs> This morning, I had to endure decaf and croissant with Councillor Ledbetter at a rather pretentious coffee shop in Hotton. We'll see you after. Well, he didn't say it in as many words, but he wants my support in the by-election. He thinks I'm backing a loser. <laughs> Damn cheek. And he's looking for mud to sling at you. He didn't say anything. I was tempted. I don't think you realise how much your rejection hurts me, Eric. But you know the situation. You can understand, surely. I don't feel very understanding. And if you want to make sure I keep quiet, then you know what you have to do. Gloria! Linus, what a surprise. <laughs> Had a bit of gossip on the by-election. You know how Eric likes to keep on top of things? <laughs> Mustache. 
Was it anything important? What? Oh, no. You two coming tonight? Um, hadn't really thought. I used to love dancing at school. I wasn't that good at it, but I was fit. Oh. Keep going for ages. <laughs> I think we'll give it a miss. <laughs> oh, don't be too hasty, Eric. There'll be a lot of potential voters here. A bit of judicious boogieing might not go amiss. <laughs> oh! You go to the party if you want. I don't mind. I'm not interested. I'd rather be with you. Okay. I was thinking if I could stay at yours tonight. If you like. Well, I'll pop round after I finish work then. Shouldn't you be getting back now? Yeah, I should. What is it? Andy? What? It's in the middle of the street. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. So? Andy, if you don't get a move on, you get the sack. Go on. Copped off at school discos. Never lasted. Usually a snug behind the science block, and that was it. You never know, you might get lucky tonight. It's not the same, though, is it, when you order? Yeah, well, tonight's all about recapturing lost youth, isn't that right, Diane? Speak for yourself. Anything else you want me to do? You've worked non stop today. Take it easy. I could do with going home and having a bath before I get changed. Well, you go ahead. I'll hold the fort here. Well, what about you? You need a break too. Well, someone's got to look after the bar. You mean like a barmaid? You're sharp today, aren't you, Laurel? But if there was another barmaid here, apart from you two, then you could both have a break. Yeah. Unfortunately, there isn't. I think you're both wonderful. The way you do it, it's... It, it's... It's... Wonderful? Yeah, and... 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 I... What are you trying to say? I'd love to... T Keep calm, ladies. Here I am. The answer to every schoolgirl's dream. <laughs> Bob, that looks great. Oh, it's the knees, isn't it? What I admit it, they drive you wild. <laughs> I'll tell you, it certainly unleashed the beast in my viv. Yeah, I don't think we want to go there. But we do want to go on a break, so oh, now that you're here. Be my guest, go and roll back the ears and return ready for mischief. Hey, be prepared to get conkers out. <laughs> this sort of thing comes naturally to you, doesn't it, Bob? Oh, yeah, growing up's overrated. Yeah, I'll you know. see you later. I'll be upstairs if you need me. Take as long as you like. What was it you wanted to say? N nothing. It's all right. Bob's here. It's all right. See you later. Hey. <laughs> I'll have uh, two for our tea and then I'll pop down the world later and flog the rest. Don't you think you're pushing your luck? Oh. Well, I mean, you might get caught, the amount you're taking. Yeah, I fucking don't mind. It's country wares, he knows that. Oh, I don't think Chris Taylor see it the same way. Yeah, and, and Stella's knackered. Huh? She enjoys it. Fresh air's good for her. She needs a rest. Come on, Sammy, you know what she's like. Hey, she shows me the way. I put me hand in the water and the trout come along begging to be caught. Oh, like you, you mean? Uh, mystery of nature. Uh, no point fighting it. Don't talk rubbish. Uh, what are you going on about? Look, I put food on the table, don't I? Stop mourning the pair of you. <sighs> I think Andy wants to start sleeping together again. And how do you feel about it? I don't want to. Well, I'm not surprised you're pregnant. <laughs> Look, it's not just that. I feel dead ugly. <laughs> don't be daft. I mean, it's true. And there is the baby. I don't want to start messing things up, do I? Why will it harm it? I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Have you spoken to Andy about it? I probably think I've just gone off him or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should try talking to him. Well, girls, what do you reckon? I can still carry it off, don't you think? Please, Mum, put some clothes on. Oh, don't be so stuffy. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> Did you really go to school dressed like that, Vic? We used to have competitions to see who would wear the shortest skirt. <laughs> who won? <laughs> Me. I've always had good legs, still have. Look at the tone on those thighs. <laughs> I think I'm going to die. Oh, I think I could get away with one more button today. <laughs> I want you to give me your honest opinion, OK? Ray? Are you going to the pub like that? Yeah, it's the school disco. It's what people wear. Don't you like it? Do you have any idea what you're going to do to the guys? You're biased. They won't look at anyone else. Well, the only guy I'm interested in is you. I wish you could be there. Yeah, to fight them off. Don't be silly. You've got nothing to worry about. Besides, they can look all their light. You're the only one who's allowed to touch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, aren't I? 
I'll keep it on for when you get home. We can have our own um, uniform inspection later. Would you like that? Might. Somebody ought to be in charge. So if you get any bother, <laughs> just say the word. Yeah, I'll put that away if I were you. You'll have everybody queuing up for six of the best. <laughs> now, Bob, just because you're dressed as a schoolboy doesn't mean you have to behave like one. Eric, Gloria, nice to see you. We like to support village events, don't we, Eric? If you say so. The common touch is very useful to a politician, so I'm told. Do you think if we could have less chat and a couple of drinks, it would be in order? Gin fizz? Seriously, I do like your outfits. Very classy. We didn't think there was any point in trying to compete with the uh, younger models at our age. Flesh is best kept concealed. I couldn't agree more. And at least you've made an effort, which is more than can be said for some folk. Yeah, I never went to one school long enough to get a uniform, as you well know. And before you even think about it, no jokes about the one that was approved. Okay. Miserable git. Come here, my teenage temptress. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm. Mm. Simon to riot. Prove it. Come on, let the revels commence. Maestro, music. Hi. I've been looking all over for you. I thought I might find you here. I have a service in there tomorrow. Perhaps you might like to come. No, I don't think so. Not yet. You'd be made welcome. You know that, don't you? Yes, I know. I, I have been thinking about the church, which is why I was trying to find you to... Uh, to give you this. It's for the fund. Are you sure it's a lot of money? I can afford it. What's the problem? I don't know. I suppose if people were to find out, they'd assume you were doing it to salve your conscience. Well, they can think what they like. I want to help. You sure? If it burnt down in any other way, you'd have been biting my hand off. You're right. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Must be very pleased with yourself. Yeah, the evening's going really well. Thanks, Terry. Yeah, got everything you ever wanted, thanks to lover boy. Where is he, by the way? I don't think that's any of your business. Oh, maybe you don't want to know. You might not like it. Shut up. You haven't just bought a share in this place. Bought you. Look, you're going to find yourself somewhere else to live. Just say the word, OK? What's Glynis doing with Henry Ledbetter? No idea. He knows she's working for us, doesn't he? Perhaps she's trying to glean information about his campaign. Oh, more likely to be all the way round. You know what Glynis is like? Anything in trousers. <laughs> find out what's going on. Now? Hello, Glynis. Henry. Honestly, Eric, isn't there anything you won't do to get votes? <laughs> I'm sorry? You look like a deck chair. Won't impress anyone, you know. Perhaps Eric has other ways of doing that. I doubt it. Excuse me. What did you bring him here for? Well, you know he has a predilection for girls in uniform. Stop playing games. On the contrary, I am very serious. If you expose me to lead, better you expose yourself. Where's the sense in that? Oh, I don't know. Innocent woman seduced by power-crazed adulterer on his wedding night. I think that'd play rather well, don't you? Like you're in for a good night. Yeah, I'm just off to Robert's. I think we're having a party tomorrow night. Well, I won't keep you. I'd... I've just wanted to thank you for what you did on the night of the fire. Oh, that's all right. No, it's it's more than all right. You you risked your own life to help me, and I'm I'm very grateful. Thanks. I'm sure you've heard a lot of things about me. Most of them lies, but the truth is, I I, 
I didn't know what I was doing that night. I was very ill. But I'm, I'm getting things under control now, and, and in a way, you've given me the chance to do that. Oh, I'm glad. I could have died, and I won't ever forget what you did. Still living dangerously then, Eric? Wretched woman wouldn't leave me alone. Have you thought about what I suggested yesterday? <laughs> I thought of nothing else. Oh, she's not a bad-looking woman. It shouldn't be too much of a hardship to uh, <laughs> give her what she wants. I suppose if it was just a one-off. Hmm. What have you got to lose? That's the point. Everything. All right, then, folks, I'm going to take a short break, and I'll be back soon. Oh, thank goodness for that. Why do they have to have the music on so loud? You could hear that halfway to Robblesville. Nobody else seems to mind, Betty. Uh, your Chloe's looking uh, very appealing tonight. Really? I hadn't noticed. Well, your mum's not in bad nick either, is she? I mean, do you mind? I'm trying to pretend I don't know her. I thought you couldn't make it. Well, I'd shuffle a couple of things around, but I knew how important tonight was to you. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. Sorry I couldn't do much about the uniform, but... Well, it doesn't matter. You're here. That's what's important. Well, I couldn't let you have all the fun, could I? <laughs> if you get into any bother, it wasn't me who got you them. All right. No problem. So, uh, who's coming? Oh, just a couple of mates from school. Come yourself, if you like. I don't know. There'll be plenty of lasses there. I made sure of that. Yeah, it's a bit of a while since I left school. So you'll have your pick then, won't you? Well, I'll think about it. You, uh, fancy another? No, 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 uh, save for tomorrow. I'm off to the pub, so I'll, uh, see you later, yeah? Yeah. Cheers, Mark. Bye, yeah. See you later. <laughs> hey, this dancing's thirsty work, isn't it, Letitia? Yeah, it's great, though. <laughs> hey, I think you're doing a really good job. Oh, give over. Hey, no, she's right. And as soon as you're earning, you can get drinks in. Go on, then. Diane. All right, mate. Not missed everything, have I? No, I'll be back on in a minute. Oh, don't rush back, love. I'm enjoying peace and quiet. Yeah, I've got to give the punters what they want, Betty. I don't think my eardrums will stand anymore. Oh, have a dance. You might enjoy it. <laughs> can't dance to this modern stuff. <laughs> modern? This is well old. Oh, it might be old to you, but I'm talking proper music here. <clears throat> Joe Loss, Victor Sylvester. Men with sequins on the waistcoats and magic in the battens. Mm. That just sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Ah, Glynis, I've been thinking about our current situation and I'm anxious to resolve it. Me too. Now, if I have been hesitant, it's not because I don't find you extremely attractive, because I do, it's uh, out of loyalty for Gloria. Really? But I can see your point of view, and I'm anxious to, um... Well, I suggest that we skip the Ways and Means subcommittee tomorrow afternoon and do something far more pleasurable. Play truant? How exciting. It will be. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Go over, Andy. Try and watch the video. I thought you've already seen it. Yeah, well, one good Is a good bit coming up? <laughs> Give us a cuddle, all right? It's only because I fancy you. I know. I love this, just sitting here, the two of us. It's um, Rob getting everything ready for the party tonight. What do you have to mention him for? He said we were getting the booze in. <sighs> Mark's getting it for him. Look, I've been thinking, and maybe I'll go after all. I thought you said you didn't want to go. Well, I'm not mad keen. I won't have a drink or anything, but a lot of our mates will be there. So? How many parties do we have around here? But it might be a laugh. Are you going to take notes of what Terry said? Uh, I'm not scared of Chris Chet. <laughs> Part of the Enterprise Guild, Jimmy. What's that mean, then? Mm. I'm off down the malt shovel to get rid of the rest of these. And then is that it? No more poaching. Give over. Stop. 
Stalin's had enough. Aye, but we'll be more careful in future. Oh. Well, you can stay if you want, but when I finish my drink, I'm off. I reckon I'll do the same. I'm surprised you two can tear yourself away. I've had enough excitement for one night. Aye, me and all. You better get used to it then. Because from now on, there's going to be beach parties and kangaroo roasts, you mark my words. Nay, yeah, hope not. Oh, time was you could go to a pub and have a quiet drink and a chat. And if you wanted lightening up a bit, you could have a good old sing-song round the piano. Aye, oh, happy days. <laughs> Goodbye then, Eric. Gloria, it's been interesting. Yes, it has, very. We will resume hostilities tomorrow, eh? <laughs> Quite. I'll walk you to your car, Henry. I could do with a breath of fresh air. Until tomorrow, then. Goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. OK, OK, OK. Sorry to interrupt the fun, but I only want a couple of minutes of your time. What's he doing? Uh, Ray. Bear with me, Louise. I just, there's something I want to say in front of all your friends. Now, as you know, Louise recently made a big decision about her life. She became co-owner of this pub. Now, tonight's event was all her idea. I know how hard she worked to pull it all off and how worried she was that it'd be a success. I think we can all agree that it's been a great success. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, there's something I'd like to give her to mark the occasion. It's not a ring. <laughs> Louise. Thank you. Me? Oh, Ray. Oh, thanks very much. I haven't thought about doing this. I was going to give it to you the weekend, but I thought tonight was more appropriate. Thank you. <laughs> well, I reckon that makes it official. Yeah. Louise! Louise! Louise!